Good morning children today we shall learn about the reproductive system in human beings the type of human reproduction is sexual reproduction which means male gamete fuses with the female gamete to form zygote during the reproduction process then zygote grows and turns into an embryo let us learn about the reproductive system in detail the male reproductive organs include a pair of testes two sperm ducts and a penis the testes produce the male gametes called sperms millions of sperms are produced by the testes if you look at the structure of a sperm sperms are very small and looks like a tadpole each sperm has a head a middle piece and a tail but a sperm is a single cell the tail of sperm helps it to move now coming to the female reproductive system the female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries ovary ducts which are also known as fallopian tubes and the uterus ovary produces female gamete or ovum egg is used as the common term for ovum the plural of ovum is ova so the female gametes are called ova in females generally a single matured egg is released into the ovary duct or the fallopian tube by one of the ovaries every month like sperm the egg or the ovum is also a single cell but it is much larger than a sperm the human ovum measures approximately 0.12 mm in diameter after fertilization zygote grows into an embryo and embryo keeps on growing and turns into a full-fledged human being inside the uterus this means the baby stays in the uterus of the mother now let us understand the reproduction process in human beings in detail in human beings fertilization takes place inside the female reproductive system so it is called internal fertilization the zygote is formed during the fertilization then zygote cell divides rapidly and forms a ball of cells called blastocyst it is just a sphere made of cells no organs have developed yet and it is not an embryo right now the blastocyst has a diameter of about 0.1 to 0.2 mm and comprises of 200 to 300 cells the blastocyst gets attached to the inner wall of the uterus we all know that nutrients are required for the growth of an organism and the embryo gets all the nutrients from mother's body through this connection with the uterus then that mass of cell develops further cells form different tissues and different tissues together form primary organs thus a mass of cell turns into embryo embryo keeps growing with time it gradually develops all body parts like hands legs eyes nose ears etc the stage of the embryo in which all the body parts can be identified is called the fetus so fetus is basically an unborn baby in human beings this stage starts around 9 to 10 weeks after fertilization but the fetus is very small right now when the development of fetus is complete 
the mother gives birth to the baby so now you know a lot about reproduction in human beings to sum up what we learned today reproduction resulting from the fusion of male and female gametes is called sexual reproduction the reproductive organs in the female include ovaries oviducts that is the fallopian tubes and the uterus the reproductive organs in the male include testes sperm ducts and penis the ovary produces female gametes called ova and the testes produce male gametes called sperms the fusion of ovum and sperm is called fertilization the fertilized egg is called a zygote fertilization takes place inside the female body and it is called internal fertilization the zygote divides repeatedly to give rise to an embryo the embryo gets embedded in the wall of the uterus for further development the stage of the embryo in which all the body parts are identifiable is called a fetus and lastly when the development of fetus is complete the mother gives birth to the baby that's all for now bye bye children